Coffee and a Cigarette by Glenn Glenn, one of the great rockabilly standards. Before I go any further, I'd just like to say thank you to all our subscribers. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. It doesn't cost anything, but it means that you get to see all the videos as they're released. So this song is not recorded in standard tuning, but I'm going to teach it in standard tuning to make life easy. Okay, I'm going to break it down for you now, everybody. Let's get rocking. So, like all my favourite songs, this one doesn't have too many chords. It's in the key of D. You're going to need to know the D chord, which is open on the D, two on the G, three on the B, and two on the high E. And it, the riff for the acoustic guitar goes from D to D7. So you start with the D chord we just described. Go to the D7 chord, which is open on the D, 2 on the G, and 1 on the B, and 2 on the E. Goes like this. Then it goes to the G chord. I'm sure you probably know the G chord, but it's basically 3 on the E, 2 on the A, and 3 on the high E. And then it goes to the seventh chord as well so you take your pinky off the third fret of the high E and you put your first finger onto the first fret of the high E. And it goes back to that D D7 riff. Then it goes to the A chord which is just basically open A, 2-2-2 two, 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 open. Back to D. Okay, I'm going to show you the lead parts now. Let's get rocking. Okay, folks, the first riff goes like this. So we're just staying on the D and the G strings. Starts off playing seven on the D, then seven on the G twice. Then we go down to 5 on the G and then back to 7 on the D. So play that first little bit. Then we do that 5, 7 again. Then we go 7, 7. Back to 5. Play the whole riff. Okay, then it moves to the G chord, so we're playing a partial G shape, part of the, the uh, F chord shape, uh, bar chord, but we're just going to use the top three strings. We're going to hammer on three to four on the G, then play three on the B, three on the G, back to three on the B. Then 
then six on the B, three on the E, back to three on the B. Four on the G, three on the E, four on the G. Play that section. And back to three on the E, back to four on the G. Three on the E, six on the B, three on the E. The whole section. One more time. We'll do what we've done so far. Back to the D chord. It goes to the A chord. And what's happening, we're going similar to the G chord, we're 5 to 6 on the G, 5 on the B, 5 on the E, 5 on the B, and 8 on the B, 5 on the E, and 5, 5 on the E, sorry, 5 on the B. One more time. And down to six on the G, five on the E, six on the G. Eight on the B, five on the E. And it just goes three, four, five on the E. And then there's a pause. First solo goes like this. So it starts off on the A string, open 2-4, then two, two strikes of the D, let's just play that, then open 3, open 3, open on the A, three strikes of the open D, open A3 on the A. Let's just play that. One more time. Then it starts on the A, one strike, two open Ds, then open three, open three, open on the A, three strikes of the D. Open A, three on the A. Do the whole thing. Then we're going to play sort of G's and G7's over the sort of 
G bar shape. So it's five, four, three on five on the D, four on the G, three on the B. Back to five on the D. And we go th uh, three on the D, four on the G, three on the B. Back to three on the D. Play that. Do the thing, same thing again. So do the whole thing from the start. Then two opens on the D. Three open, three open on the A. Three strikes of the D. Open on the A, three on the A. Do the whole thing we've done so far. Then to finish off, it goes three strikes of the A, then three, four on the A. Two strikes of the two on the D, then four on the D. Then do that three opens, three, four on the A again. Then two, two, three, four on the D. Then open, open three, four on the, the D. Two, two, four, two on the G. Open, open three on the A. Finishes on the D open. Do the whole thing. Okay folks, the second solo goes like this. So what's happening there, we're playing pairs of tens on the B and the E string four times. 13, 10 on the E, then 13 on the B. Two more of those pairs of tens. 13, 10 on the E. 13, 10 on the B. 12 on the G. 10 on the B. Play the thing we've done so far. Four more pairs of 10s. 13, 10 on the B. 13 on the E. 10 on the B. Let's play what we've learned so far. Okay, the next loop goes like this. 
So playing 12 on the G, bending it, and then playing 10 on the B. Do that twice. And we pull off 13, 12, 10 on the G, 12 on the D. Play the bit we've learned so far. Play eight pairs of tens. Then we play thirteen on the B, twelve, sorry, thirteen on the E, twelve on the B, back to the tens, and do that again. And do what we've learned so far. of these two notes like this. Do what we've learned so far. on the B, 7 on the G, 5 to 6 on the G, 7 on the D. Then go from 6 on the G to 7 on the D twice. Play a sort of D chord, open D, and then open three, open on the A. Three strikes of the D, open A. Do the whole solo. So there we are folks, that was one cup of coffee and a cigarette, all the guitar parts for you there and a bit of tab as well, so you can't go wrong. Hope you enjoyed the lesson, please like and subscribe for more rock and roll every week. We'll see you next time, keep rocking!